matters into their own hands using technology to try to catch criminals in the act. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Sheldon Ingram is live for us on the South Side. And Sheldon, really is a team effort you're talking about. Yeah, what's going on here is that the Pittsburgh police in Zone 3, they're really pushing this virtual block watch program. That's when residents place surveillance cameras on their houses. And the very first family to do that is right here on the south side. And there are about 30 more looking to jump on board. Residents say Sarah Street on the south side get to share of appalling vagrant behavior. So Ron and Marshall Benson decided to do something about it since some of the incidents happened on their property. Destruction of private property. It is basically public urination. So the couple decided to be the first in Zone 3 to install cameras on their house to capture potential crime activity on the street. This is surveillance video on Sarah Street from three cameras attached to their house. What are we looking at? The front of the house from two directions and their driveway? Correct. So this is Sarah Street. And Zone 3 Lieutenant Larry Serrato says it's a virtual block watch program by using residential surveillance cameras to capture street activity. Pittsburgh police say residents living in neighborhoods with more volatile and deadly crime can benefit from this program. In some of the neighborhoods where there's a prevalence of more violent crimes and murders, you think this setup will be effective? I believe the virtual block watch creates what we as a police department want to accomplish. We're advertising in these neighborhoods that you will no longer be able to function in anonymity. We will capture your likeness and we'll identify you and we'll prosecute you from it. The setup works like this. Each block has three houses with up to four cameras, one house at the end of each block and one in the middle. You have individuals who are afraid to speak up so it's like you can snitch without actually snitching. Now, Pittsburgh police recommends that each house has a set of four cameras, and a set could run anywhere from $400 to $1,000. Pittsburgh police, they're suggesting that residents on each block all contribute to the cost of those surveillance cameras. Reporting live from the South Side, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Sheldon